Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been told they really do need to top up their royal tinsel and glamour as the Sussex brand faces a critical period following a roller coaster few months. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit official royal family duties when they moved from the US at the start of 2020, and have since looked to build their brand in their new life in Montecito, California. They signed multi-million deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, Harry released his tell-all memoir Spear in January, and Meghan has been tipped for a move into US politics and possibly a return to acting via Hollywood. But many commentators have argued the criticisms from the royal family over the past few months have backfired badly, impacting the Sussex brand. Harry will attend the coronation of King Charles III without Meghan next month, and one expert believes it could prove crucial for their brand. Asked about how the prince attending on his own might affect the brand, Pauline McLaren, professor of marketing and consumer research at Royal Holloway University in London, told Express. Co.uk, Harry is perhaps attending to top up their royal connections. Had they not come at all, it would have been very difficult for their brand. Their whole brand is based on them being royals and although they have been criticizing the royals, they also still want to keep their royal titles, they want their children to have them and they are not saying they want to finish with royalty. That being said, they are practically nothing without maintaining their royal connections. They cornered themselves into quite a difficult position and this has been shown up through this coronation invite. Professor McLaren further explained, if they both go, they both risk looking very foolish if they are met with a lot of hostility and that would be very bad for their brand. On the other hand, if they don't go at all, they are cutting off from the royals even though they still have their titles. They really do need to top up their royal tinsel and glamour. This is the ideal compromise, Harry comes and they are still reinforcing their importance in terms of him being the son of the king. They are reinforcing their royal connections but limiting their reputational damage through the hostility they will face. In October 2020, the couple founded non-profit charitable arm the Archuil Foundation, as well as lucrative for-profit business divisions focusing on media production. Don't miss! Harry impulsively decided to get Meghan back to her comfort zone, reaction, Meghan shouldn't be blamed for Harry's petulance says expert, comments, Harry couldn't afford to skip coronation over plummeting popularity, latest, following the publication of Harry's tell-all memoir, Spare, Professor McLaren had warned the Sussex brand was getting lost after the Duke of Sussex was warned he had gone too far with the book. The marketing expert also warned the all-important Archuil brand was getting completely lost as talk of their criticisms of the royal family dominated global headlines. She told Express.co.uk at the time, Harry has gone too far with his criticisms of the royal family. He is certainly not going the right way about this. What is getting lost in all of this is the Sussex brand. What is the Sussex brand? We know they are not allowed to use Sussex Royal anymore so they set up the Archuil Foundation, with Archuil Productions and Archuil Audio. The deals with Netflix and Spotify tie in with all of that. But within all this furor and all of the discussions, all the talk is about the Sussexes, Harry and of course, the Spare, which are all sort of sub-brands that are floating around. You don't hear a thing about Archuil and it seems that Archuil is getting completely lost in all of this other stuff.